Voyager 1 is the first man-made spacecraft to ever reach interstellar space. But how did its journey begin? Voyager began as a completely different program. It was originally called Mariner 10 as part of the Mariner program to study Venus in great detail. However, NASA had different plans for what would become Voyager. A new program was founded named Mariner Jupiter Saturn. The problem with this name is that the probes created were far superior to the Mariner spacecraft family. Thus, NASA renamed the Mariner Jupiter Saturn program to the Voyager program. Four, three, two, one. MDS, we have ignition, we have a liftoff. Voyager 1 was launched into space in 1977 with the purpose of studying the two closest gas giants to us, Jupiter and Saturn. When Voyager 1 finally made it to Jupiter in 1979, the studying began. It took pictures every 96 seconds to generate this video of Jupiter's rotation. During Voyager 1's studying, it discovered two new moons orbiting Jupiter, Phoebe and Metis. 1980 is when Voyager 1 would meet its final planet for a long time, Saturn. Voyager photographed and observed six important moons of Saturn, Titan, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, Dione, and Rhea. All of these moons, especially Titan, consisted of mainly ice. This prompted a close flyby for Titan. This flyby marked the end of the original Voyager program and the beginning of the Voyager interstellar mission. Before continuing its journey, NASA, at astronomer Carl Sagan's suggestion, had Voyager turn around to look back at Earth and took the most famous photo ever taken in space, the pale blue dot. When Sagan saw this photo, this is what he had to say. Consider again that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives the aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on the mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam. With that, Voyager 1 began its lonely journey into space. Well, not completely alone. When NASA launched Voyager, they sent with it the Golden Record, a nearly six-hour-long greeting card from Earth. If found and played by a future alien species, it will greet them in dozens of languages, reveal over a hundred photos of Earth, its location in space and its inhabitants, and play musical selections from tribal chanting to rock and roll. Just like everything else in life, Voyager 1 was not meant to last forever. By the year 2025, its batteries will run dry, and the distant communications we receive will become non-existent. When this finally happens, Voyager will really begin its lonely journey.